friends, welcome to the course of Code Creator for RESTful API development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll set up our API routes for this first phase of API development. If I back to editor, so inside the last video, we have seen and discussed all about our controller and model settings. If I go inside app folder, controllers folder, so here we have our API folder and inside that folder here we will have API controller. So inside this API controller we had created all the needed methods. Now this time we will configure or create our API routes by using routes.php. So to register and create all API routes, go inside config folder, search for routes.php and inside this routes.php we will add our API routes. So I will go here, let's add a single line command that is API routes. I will use routes and as we know that this time we had stored our API controller inside API folder. And one more thing, if I back to slide, inside each API call, we want API as a prefix. So in this case, we have two types of concept. First one is all about our routes group and routes namespace. So go here, let's say routes group, so that will add a prefix here. So this is API as a prefix. This is an array and here let's say namespace. Namespace indicates that we actually we had stored our controller. Now next we need to define a callback function. Inside this callback function, we will have a routes object. So first route we need to create for add student API which will be hit using post request type. So this will be like this routes using post method. Using post method and inside here, let's call as add student. Next here we need to pass our controller name. So it will be API controller. Let's open our controller class first, API controllers, API, API controller. So I will copy the controller class name, scope resolution operator and here we have the method as add student. So when we call this add student API by using post request type, it will hit add student method of API controller. And this controller actually exists inside our API folder. So we need to go inside this controller class. Let's copy its namespace and put here inside this namespace key. And let's say this will be to save student data into table. Now next we need to create another route for our list students API. Go here and that API will call using get request type. So here list, list students. Let's say routes using get method. Get method, this will be something list students and it will call API controller scope resolution operator from API controller. Here we will have the method called list students. So all we have set for this list students data. Now next we need to create for single student API. Go here. Let's say routes. This API also will call using get request type single student. And here let's say API controller. And from this controller class, we'll call single student data. One more thing that while calling this API, we need to pass a student ID into URL. So inside this route setting, this will return single student data. So while calling this route, we need to pass a student ID into URL which is a numeric value. So forward slash, I need to put a placeholder for this value. Now we need to receive this value inside this method. So again we need to put a placeholder. So dollar one. Dollar one indicates that we are receiving one parameter inside URL. So this is all about single student data. Now next we need to create for update student API. So here routes will use 
put request type for update operation and this will be update hyphen student it will call api controller and from api controller class the method will have called update student again inside this method we are receiving student id into url and also updated data so updated data we will receive using body parameters but we need student id into url so inside this url we need to pass a numeric value that will be student id and also we need to receive this value into this method so dollar one so by the help of this method update student data and finally we need a final route that is for delete student so delete student data and this method will call using delete request type so delete hyphen student it will call api controller class and from this controller class the method name will have called delete student so while calling this method also we need to pass our student id into url so numeric value and we need to receive that value so dollar one will be placeholder for that so successfully by the help of this routes.php now we have configured and created all needed api routes so this time our controller class is ready our routes are ready and also our model is also ready so hopefully from the next video we'll start the development processes of these methods so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day